Hi, I'm Johnny Shannon from Sterling Gear, and I'm going to be talking today about preferences within Veritas Imagine. You may already be using preferences uh, without you necessarily knowing about it. If we go to File, Open, Raster Layer, then there are some buttons here that set uh, preferences for you. So this one here, the third one on the top, that sets your default data directory. That means if you click there, every time we come to open the dialog now, it'll come to this directory. And this sets the default output directory, so any files we write will go to that directory. Um, down the bottom here, we've got files of type set to .img. If we change that to all file-based raster formats, which is probably the most useful, now we can see other formats which we can load into Imagine. Here we've got an ECW, and if we click the star there, that sets that as a preference. So let's look at our preference file. If we go to File, Preferences, we can see that our default data and output directory has been set to the directory that uh, we set just now. One thing that would be good to change on the whole is your temporary file directory, and this is especially true if you're working across a network. Um, the default is $temp, which is usually set to your user's directory. If that's across the network, that's a bad idea. You want to set that to a local directory, so I'm going to set it here to C, Erdas temp, click OK, and then save that. There's a host of other preferences that you can set. Um, down here, we've got uh, default band combinations for six or greater band image. Um, I'm going to change that to band 5, 6, 4, because Landsat 8 will come in and under that uh, band 6 or greater uh, category, and band 5, 6, 4 is my favourite uh, for viewing vegetation, so I click on save there. We can see that there is a host of other preferences um, available to set. Um, it can be a bit of a pain to try and find those preferences, just navigating through on the left-hand column pane here. Um, but if we click on search and type in something that we're looking for, in this case ECW, here we can say I've already pre um, changed my uh, ECW version to ECW version 3, and if I wanted to change the default compression, I could do so here as well. So if there's something that uh, you're continually changing, a parameter you're continually changing within Imagine, have a think about it. Maybe you'll find that you'll be able to set that as a preference. I hope you found that useful, and I'll be back again shortly with another tip for Imagine.